Hey, I'm Tashaka Armstrong with another episode of Tech for the Rest of Us. Today we're talking about cell phone signal boosters, which used to be largely the domain of snake oil salesmen. I mean, I remember there was a time when people used to sell these cell phone signal boosters that you would just attach to the back of your cell phone, and they were garbage. Uh, so it was a little bit of a surprise to me when a company called WeBoost approached me to check out one of their in-car cell phone signal boosters that I actually reviewed on my own personal blog and the thing worked as advertised. It was excellent. So when they asked me about their other product, which is for those of you who may have issues with cell phone signal in your homes, I thought, let me try it out. Show you guys what it's all about and maybe help somebody who's having issues in their home. So what they sent me was their EcoBoost cell phone booster. Now, for people who are having problems with cell phone signal in their homes, there are currently maybe a small handful of solutions you can use to improve your signal. You can get one of those routers or fem to cells that some of the cell phone carriers will rent or give to you for free in some cases. Uh, you could buy an antenna and connect that to various components in your home. Or you can get something like this. This is essentially two different items, comes in one package. You get a signal booster and an antenna. And both of those together actually do work and increase your signal. Now here in the web office here at Fox 11 in Los Angeles, the web office is kind of like a black hole for cell phone signals. Only Sprint and T-Mobile get a signal here. Sprint barely gets a signal. T-Mobile is the only one that actually gets 4G LTE, full signal in here. But Verizon and AT&T are pretty much dead inside of this black hole that we call the web office. So it was actually pretty surprising when we connected up the EcoBoost and I actually had everybody here in the web office check and see if their phones worked with it. And you know what? They all worked. They all saw signal gain. So what we had is we have people on AT&T who were getting zero bar, zero signal, use the EcoBoost, and what they experienced was an increase of one to two bars, and there was a dB gain, which we'll go into in detail in a moment. And uh, for all others, uh, those on Verizon, those on Sprint, those on T-Mobile, everybody also experienced a signal boost. We measured signal boost in one of two ways. Some of the phones we were able to put into service mode or maintenance mode and actually see the graphic representation of the antenna signal gain. The other way we did this, for those whose phones would not go into maintenance mode easily, is I just asked them to look at the bars they're getting. Now, we, we can get into that all day long about the graphic representation, what bars really represent in terms of signal, but what you cannot deny is those folks who could not make a phone call or could not send or receive a text message who were on AT&T with iPhones, after we installed the EcoBoost, they were actually able to make and receive phone calls and they were actually able to send and receive text messages uh, after this device was connected. Now, the caveat to the EcoBoost is this. It does not give you cell phone service where there are no towers. So if there's no tower in your area, you're not going to improve anything because there's nothing to improve. As long as the EcoBoost, the booster, can actually connect with a tower in your area, you will see a signal increase. You will see a signal boost inside your home. This is the antenna portion of the kit. And as you can see, it's just a straight, flat black box, um, matte around the sides with a gloss around the front. Uh, this is the component that actually amplifies the signal in your home or business. So you'll plug this up to the booster. The booster via a 20-foot cable connects to this antenna. And then you take this antenna, and this antenna, it says, has about a 1,200-foot radius. The caveat I found with this is that the closer you are to the antenna, the better the signal increase you're going to experience. So I found that when you're sitting right in front of this thing, sitting and relatively close to this thing, and by in front, I mean literally this is the front and so if you're sitting somewhere right in front of here you're gonna get the best signal gain if you're sitting behind it I found that it's not as good you're sitting around the side of it not as good as a matter of fact behind it in some cases I, I didn't see any gain but as long as this is in front of you as long as this is behind you rather as long as you're in front of it you're going to see what I showed you with the previous phone and that is you're going to see that actual signal gain that signal boost so Again, not really a whole lot to say on this. It really works like it says it does. 
I'm going to put in the description below the amount of dB gain we saw with each of the phones I tested, so you actually have that information if you want to read it. Uh, but know that we tested like five, six different phones, different carriers, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, uh, and AT&T, and they all saw the same results. That is, they all saw a signal increase. And again, for people who were getting zero signal, as you saw on the AT&T phone, it went from zero signal to one bar and an LTE connection. So the WeBoost EcoBoost, is it gonna be worth the cost for you, around $300? That depends on how crucial, how critical cell phone service in your home or office is to you. This works across multiple carriers, unlike the fem cells or the, the routers that some of the carriers will give you, which are carrier specific. So if you're in say a small home office, small number of employees, or you have people coming and going through your office and you are in a bad reception area, this will allow you to provide signal boost for anybody on any carrier that comes through your office, whereas your carrier specific solution is only gonna work for you. So this may be worth it for you, again, if you're a small office, home office, or again, if, if you have a family who has uh, cell phones, you know, you and the kids, and you wanna be able to boost their signals with the, this device. So up to you, again, over a period of time, you are gonna pay to rent or lease a router from your carrier. This is a one-time fee. So you just weigh those options out, see what works best for you. But I can tell you this does work well. I've even had some of the reporters come through with their cell phones, test it out, and everybody saw an increase. If you have any questions, any comments, anything I have not answered, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll get to it. My name is Tashaka Armstrong. Thank you for watching.